The Trump administration says it's working to speed up the reunification of immigrant families. The Trump administration separated at the U.S.-Mexico border after it missed Tuesday's court-imposed deadline of returning 102 children under the age of five to their parents. As of Wednesday, the administration has reunited just 34 of the children. Among those recently reunited were Javier Garrido Martinez and his four-year-old son Martinez spoke to reporters in New York Wednesday. No, nunca me imaginé que me iban a separar de él. I never eh, imagined they would separate me. Eh, cuando me entregué, me, me tomaron mis datos, me dijeron que, que el, el presidente había cambiado las leyes, que los niños los iban a separar. When I came in, they took my biometrics and they told me the president changed a couple of laws and the, ni the kids were going to be separated. Un oficial, uno de ellos me, me dijo que el niño me lo, lo iba a reconocer. They had told him that someone might have adopted his child this time. And that he would not be able to see him again. This comes as the Daily Beast reports the Trump administration told immigrant mothers they have to pay as much as $800 for DNA tests in order to be reunited with their children. And documents obtained by the news site Slate showed the Trump administration's planning to draw down funding for HIV-AIDS care to pay for detaining immigrant children.